Hey guys, welcome to the part 2 of Reset Forgot Password. In the previous video, we have already completed uh, this part that is uh, showing users the email field. And now in this one, we are going to complete the step whereby he enters his password in the text field and we validate all the data and we reset his password. But before we get started, please, please, please do subscribe to our channel because I see only 3% of the people are subscribed to our channel and rest of y'all aren't. It will be really helpful if y'all do subscribe and like this video. So now let's get started. We'll go to the serializer and we'll start by creating a new serializer called as reset password serializer. So reset password serializer. And this will be also serializers dot serializer. And then this will have only one field. Actually, you all can take it as two fields that is password and confirm password. But I'm going to do only one field for now. So password and this will be serializers dot care field. This will be write only because I don't want it to be read also. And then minimum length, you all can specify whatever you all want. I'm going to just specify as four. So now we are going to declare class meta, the specifying the fields and the only field we have over here is the password field. So we are going to specify it over here. So this is done now. Let's go ahead and create our view set. So view set in view set, we are not going to have any post definition, but we are going to do a patch call instead. So that means uh, update, but partial update. So let's go ahead and create that. Uh, I'll call it as reset password. And this will also take generic start generic API view. And over here, we are going to first of all specify the serializer class, and that will be serializer. So that will be serializers dot the new one which we created, that is reset password serializer. This is the one that we just created over here. So that we are going to use, and then we are going to write our patch. So def patch self, then uh, it will accept request. Then this will have arguments, arts, and keyword arguments. Then we whatever data comes, we'll send it to the serializer. So I'll call it as serializer is equal to self dot serializer class and data is equal to request dot data. So this will consist of the password data. So the encoded PK and token, as you all can see, will come in the URL and not in the data. So that will be present in the keyword arguments and that also we are going to send it to the serializer. So for that, I'm going to write the next step. So I'll call it as context. I'm going to pass it as context to the serializer and I'll call it as keyword arguments itself. So this means that I'm passing first of all the data that will consist of the password to the serializer along with that I'm passing the keyword arguments. Why? Because keyword argument consists of our encoded PK and token that we will validate in the serializer and then we are going to reset the user's password. So that's why this step is done over here. Now after this we are going to validate the serializer. So serializers dot is valid and i'll do is uh, raise exception as true so this will raise the exceptions if there are any and then we are going to return response oh it will come from response dot response i'll pass you a message and the message will be password reset complete and along with this, I'm going to pass the status as well. So status is equal to status dot HTTP 200. Okay. 
and don't forget to put a comma over here so our page is also ready now we can use this in the urls views dot reset password dot as view it is because we have created a generic api view now our url is ready and also our view set is ready we just need to write the validate method in the serializer that will validate the encoded pk that is sent in the url and the token to make sure that it is valid and then only reset the password so let's do that now so we'll write a method that is validate and this will be inside this serializer itself and this will accept self and then it will accept data so first of all let's extract the password that is password and this will come from data dot get password so this uh, we got password now we need to take out the token so token will be self dot context because we passed in uh, in the context and then i'm going to do get keyword arguments so we have now our keyword argument and inside that we have our token so i'll call it again as get and then i'll pass in the token and likewise we need to also do for our encoded pk so i'm going to copy this and and please note the whatever you write over here this token should be same as this and this encoded pk should be over here because i'm going to use that now first of all let's let's verify that token and encoded pk are present so if token is none or encoded pk is none if any one of them are none then let's return a validation error that will come from serializers dot validation error and i'll call it as missing data now that our validation is done first we need to get is users pk from this encoded pk and that if we check in the views uh, over here we had done by url safe uh, base 64 encoding and force byte so we are going to use the same thing that is pk will be equal to url safe and it will be base 64 but this time it will be decode and i'm going to pass the encoded pk inside this and i'll call the decode yes and we need to import this so let's import it so it is from django dot utils dot http import url safe base 64 decode so this is imported and now we are going to get the user so user will be user dot objects dot get and I'll pass in the pk as pk. Now we need to import this user more uh, user so that will come from django dot contrib dot auth dot models import user. And along with this, I'll do one more import that is from django dot contrib dot auth dot tokens import password reset token generator okay so we are going to use this same one to check whether the token is valid or not so now we are going to do that so now we'll check if not password reset token generator dot check token and inside this we are going to pass in the user and along with that we are going to also pass in the token and if it is not present not valid then raise the exception raise serializer dot validation error the reset 
token is invalid otherwise it means it is valid so we are going to reset it over here user dot set password password that is this password and then user dot save and return the user ah uh, sorry return the data so that's it serializer is also complete now let's go and run this please make sure to activate your environment for me the vs code has already activated the environment so now i will run the project so python manage.py well i need to first of all go inside the directory and then python manage.py run server oh, I, I haven't applied the migration so let me apply them it will be python manage.py migrate so since i hadn't applied the migrations let me also create a user now so it will be python manage.py create super user i'll call it as admin give it some password entered a weak password so yes and now let's run it so python manage.py run server and let's go ahead and check this in the browser so yes because we don't have anything over here let's go to the admin side first and create a user to reset his password I'll create a user and call it as Shubha. Give it some password. And save. Let me just enter everything. Enter some email um at the rate some mail dot com okay let's log out and we'll put that email over here and it generated our reset url so i'm actually there is some problem over here let me check it out so in the previous video on line number 23 we encoded the pk right with this url safe base 64 encode but that is not correct for that we have to use this one base 64 underscore encode and i'm going to change that also i'm going to change the import as well so it will come from from django dot utils dot http import this so let's save and go to the browser and now let's submit users email again from at the rate mail.com and now the reset email uh, reset url is correct so let's visit this url and it is asking me for password and this is correct this is not an error because we are not having any get definition so this is giving this kind of error so that is totally fine because all we are going to do is patch request every time so yes so i'll call it as test one two three and let's do the patch password reset complete let's try to log in now i'll go to localhost and and say if a user again tries to use the same uh same url to reset his password let's try to do that okay i'll give some other password admin at the rate 123 and it will give me error that is token uh, reset token is invalid that means this token is only valid once so that is a plus point i'll go to the admin side now and let's try to log in with the user with the new password shubham and i had entered test at the rate 123 that is correct because i'm i'm not a staff user so i'm not allowed to go inside 
administrator but i was able to log in so in order to verify that let's give this user uh, the staff permission save log out show one and test at the rate one two three and there we go we don't have um it's like we are logged in but it says correctly that we don't have any permission to view or edit so that's it for this series guys i hope you have learned something new make sure to subscribe like comment and share the video thank you see you in the next one